Uh, hello YouTube, it's me. I'm back. Yeah, it's been a long time, okay? But for once I have a reasonable explanation, not just like... Mm -hmm. I had like persistent dermatitis. Uh, contact dermatitis around my eyes. Uh, you can tell it's almost, it's almost gone. But if you see any flakiness around this eye in particular, that's what it is. But um, yeah, I just, every, all the makeup I did looked terrible, essentially. Um, and so I was like, I'll just wait till it passes. I got like medication for it, but it was steroid cream. And the pharmacist was like, well, you can't use this very much because uh, it's, it's not good for you. And I was like, okay, cool. But I kept coming back. So I just had to kind of ride it out. But if you're struggling with the same thing, guys, um, I did wash all my makeup brushes um, and I think it's gone away. So I've got a feeling that might have been it. I saw a TikTok that was this girl and she was like, She's like, oh, she was like selling, you know, TikTok shop, like people are constantly selling you shit. And it's like, she, she was like, oh my God, it's been so long since I washed my makeup brushes. It's been three weeks. And I was like, well, I cannot remember the last time I did wash my makeup brushes. So that could be where the contact dermatitis is coming from. Yeah, she was like, I haven't washed them in three weeks. How disgusting of me. I was like, oh, I should probably wash them. Yeah, I think it's helped. I don't know. But yes, we are going to do, um, I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet. It's either just going to be like a, a get ready with me or, um, oh, there goes my ear. Like a get ready with me or just my everyday makeup. It's not quite my everyday makeup. My everyday makeup now is no makeup, to be honest. I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore, so. But when I do wear makeup, this is kind of the vibe I go for. But just sometimes less intense, more intense, depends what I'm doing. Anyway. I'm going in with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I'm just gonna put it, I mainly just go everywhere, pretty much. I find it funny, cause like, Milk Makeup probably want nothing to do with me anymore because I'm, like, I'm like, my Milk Makeup Hydro Primer like looks so scabby and disgusting. And this is probably like five years old. And I always use this one as well. They don't even sell it in this shape anymore. Like this, they don't sell the big ones and it's all came off. And this is probably out of date by like two years, but I still will use it, I think. It makes sense that they stop selling this size because you get so much for your money. Like I've had this since I've been like 18 and look how much is left. It's got like hair sticking out of it and everything. I'm like, they're probably like, please stop promoting our products. We do not want to be associated with you. The base, you've probably seen most of this before as, as I am kind of doing everyday makeup, but um, this is the Gucci Beauty Eternity Day Beauty shade. Uh, oh, it has SPF 15 as well, which is good. And this is in shade Fair, 120 in, and then I mix it with Studio Radiance MAC Foundations and NW5. And I just mix them both together. Because this is a little bit too pale, this is a little bit too warm. Together they, you know, they, it works, I think. If I'm going out and like running errands, I probably wouldn't wear foundation. But um, yeah, the reason I'm doing this today is because I'm getting my passport photo taken. Uh, I'm just going to one of the little booths, I'm not going to one of the people, but um, yeah, I lost my passport, so that's good. Um, I would recommend you don't use your passport as ID when you're on a night out. Yeah, you'll lose it, and like an old man pub, and I tried to ring them, and they don't have a phone number, and so you know what, I just thought, let me just get a new one. Since I was using it as ID, it got like super scabby anyway, and like my old passport used to be like that as well. I used to use it as ID and I'd also use it to travel and I'd get so paranoid going up to the, um, the you know, well, immigration people because it literally looks like, looks like it's been like burned and like spat on and everything. And I'm always like, they are well within their right to not let me into the country with this passport. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna take a new one. Which I also, can I just say, absolutely hate doing. Have you, I don't know what it is, it's so stupid, but like going into one of those little booths and like everyone knows that you're just, I don't know why, it, sh it shouldn't be embarrassing, but to me it is. And so I usually have to bring a friend, but uh, my friends seem few and far between these days, so no one is free to d come to the passport booth with me. So I'm um, feeling very shy about that. The Urban Decay Quickie Concealer and just putting a little bit my face and then going in with the Gucci Beauty Concentr 
everything's in fridge. It's a Gucci Beauty. Gucci Beauty. Oh my god, I haven't filmed in a long time. Okay, bear with me. Gucci Beauty concealer and fair, and we're just gonna put that on the higher points. Mix it in a little bit. Blah de blah de blah. This isn't as full coverage as um concealers I'm used to, but it sits really pretty, so I kind of just mix it usually to try and make it work. I need to get Tarte Shape Tape again. Um, I keep forgetting though, because that's honestly probably the best concealer for covering my dark circles anyway. These work pretty well though. I've just got very, um, not so word, dramatic dark circles that are quite hard to cover up sometimes. Okay, so I finally ran out of my Fenty Contour Stick. Um, the day had to come eventually. Uh, so this is what I've been using recently. It's a little bit warm for my face, I can't lie. It's good though. Be Perfect. I, I don't know anything about Be Perfect. I don't know if they're a good makeup brand or not. There's just like sometimes shops littered around the Be Perfect shops and they've got like random makeup brands in there. Um, I went in to get doll lashes but I came out with this. It's Shape Stick by Be Perfect and it's in Maple. Um... Yes, it's okay actually. I, sometimes I do feel like I can see in pictures it's maybe a little bit warm. It kind of looks like you, you've you got the wrong foundation shade on occasionally, but it seems like a good shade for lighter skin. Maybe not less light though. <laughs> uh, and I just put a little bit on my nose, but I'll go back in with contour I think later on the nose. Yeah, also got new hair. Um, yeah, basically... I wanted to um, enjoy my blue hair more than I actually did because I had booked in for like extensions a while ago and basically just after I dyed my hair blue I got severely out. well severely is so dramatic I should not say that, uh, touch wood, um, I got like a really bad flu that lasted like two weeks and you know what's funny actually about that flu is it made me quite depressed because I couldn't do anything but I wanted to um, like, the only thing I could really manage was walking my dog. I didn't have any help, so I had no one to walk my dog, and I was just, like, very ill, and I just couldn't do anything all day. Um, and I, and then it started affecting my appetite. I started, not like, not being able to eat, and I was like, oh, my God, this is, like, I'm going to die. Like, I'm going to die. So I, was, I had blue hair at this point. <laughs> That's my point. And it was, I don't know, I was... Yeah, and then as I was kind of getting better, I had this appointment for my black hair, so I was like, I'm going to I'm gonna go to it, because I put down a crazy deposit. If you if you have extensions, you know how expensive extensions can be, so I was like, I'll put down a crazy deposit for this, so I'm going to this appointment. Also, just going in with this Morphe 2 foundation, it looks disgusting, so, uh, and it's in hint of spray, so I'm just going to contour my nose with this. But yeah, I went to my hairdressing appointment. I didn't feel too bad, I was kind of hopped up on painkillers and stuff. Um, but as the appointment went on, because the appointments do last a while when I go to the hairdressers, because I'm always doing some crazy stuff, uh, I started to feel a little bit weird. Um, and I started to feel a little bit faint. Uh, and I was like, oh, it's probably fine. I just haven't eaten in a while because I was in there for so long. And I, I'd just taken more painkillers, and I swear you're not meant to have painkillers on an empty stomach because I don't know why, actually. But yeah, and she was, I was done. She was like, do you mind just standing up so I could take a few pictures? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then I just, this overwhelming feeling, I can't describe the feeling, I've never really felt it before. Like something was wrong. And so I was standing up, she was like, look up so I could take a picture of the extensions. And I was like, oh. and I was just like, ah, oh, I need to sit down for a second. And so I sat down and like put my head between my legs, what you're ready to do if you think you're gonna faint. And she was like, you okay like what's wrong and then I just thought I was like where's the nearest toilet in here and she was like oh they're out of order on this floor so you're gonna have to go up two floors and I was like and I just went like <gasps> and she was like oh my god oh my god and I don't know why I did this till, still to this day and I, she like took out the plug in a little hair washing sink and she was like just be sick in there and I was like heaving into her sink and then I just stopped and it went away and I was like eh, sorry about that um Luckily, I know my hairdresser really well. Like we're like super. I, I don't know. Do you, can you call your hairdresser a friend? I've been going into. I've been going to her for years. Like we're we're friendly anyway. Sometimes like you know when you're like I don't wanna call somebody a friend in case they don't think I'm their friend and they're like. But yeah, we're like 
comfortable with each other. So I was like, God forbid that would have happened to me or somebody I didn't know. Like it was humiliating with someone I did know. Uh, I just put a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury here and here. Um, that's also running out though. Everything I own is running out. Uh, I'm gonna take that <laughs> milk makeup stick, blush that can work. You can still get this in the smaller size, just not this jumbo one that I have. And I'm actually gonna put it right here, here. Like around here, heavy on the blush. I'm gonna take a little bit of my finger and just put it here, not too much. I'm enjoying my extensions, they're quite hard to make look like not extensions because my hair is so naturally short. Um, so I've been struggling with that. It looks okay when I curl it, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, extensions, I've got a love-hate relationship with. They're like fine sometimes and other times I want to rip them out my skull. Uh, I don't have bonds, I have like a, uh, what's it called, like a microwave, but it's just like a big strip of hair that you put beads into it, I don't know. So it's quite, I don't know, uncomfortable sometimes. Okay, I'm just gonna add a few little fake freckles. Not too much though. Also, sorry, my hands look gross. Like I don't have uh, any nails on, which I usually do, which causes me when I don't have nails on to pick at my skin, which is always pleasant. So yeah, if you see any skin <laughs> flying off, Sorry, that's so grim. That's why. Okay, I'm gonna powder with my NARS translucent powder. I'm just gonna go everywhere with this. Yeah, I'm trying to do this semi quickly because I need to go and get my passport photo taken. And it's such like, I don't know if anyone's ever done, if you've lost your passport, it's all very like complicated. You have to fill out forms, go to like a meeting and stuff. So I need to get this done ASAP because my friend wants to go on holiday in like a week or two, so. Uh, brow gel, this is just the Rare Beauty eyebrow duo thing. This is running out, this is old as well. I need a new make, I just need to buy new makeup. Such a hoarder. Uh, yeah, so we're doing, my hair looks black, it's actually not technically. Don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like a little bit reddish, it's like purpley red. But I just do my eyebrows black because I don't think anyone notices that it's reddish. So I'm taking the Kaleidos little, uh, this little palette. It doesn't have any information on it, but it looks like this. And I'm just taking the black, giving this little angular brush a lick, which is gross, I'm sorry. But... Doing a, quite a high, high brow. Why is it called highbrow when you're like, oh, this is highbrow, it's like fancy. What is the, why, why? Why, 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 why? Highbrow. Is it because like posh people have high eyebrows? Ah, <laughs> uh, keep going out of the lines of my eyebrow. Just gonna do like little fake hairs. Like so, and then I'm gonna go in with my next professional lift and snatch brow tint pen and black. This is ash brown. Actually, I'm gonna quickly take the ash brown one and just do some fake freckles. Sorry, I keep going out of shot. Just go over any real freckles too. So I'm taking the black snatch, lift and snatch pen and I'm gonna just go in and darken everything up. I'm just gonna take a little spoolie brush, whatever that is, do this. And then I'm gonna clean it up with some concealer. <laughs> so funny, I'm just sitting here dreading getting my passport photo taken, even though it's like not that deep. Like no one cares that I'm in, the, no one cares that I'm in the photo booth except for me, but. I guess I'm just scared that somebody's gonna rip the curtain open. I don't know why. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, so a whole pan of eyeshadow just 
fell out onto the floor. Um, I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen for now and come back to that uh, at a later time because, yeah. I'm going with my favourite eyeshadow palette, Colourpop, uh, and this is the Rock Candy palette. It looks like these. And I'm taking the shade Erupt, and I'm going to maybe sometimes, occasionally, dip the brush. So this is Erupt. Occasionally dip it into here, maybe, and here and here. So, yeah, we'll see. And I'm just going in here. Not too much. I'm trying to make this look delicate. As delicate as I can be with makeup anyway, lol. And I'll go down here and blend it out a little bit. Like so. I'm sure you didn't move in her. I'm gonna take a little bit more up here. Honestly, this is the best I can do with eyeshadow. I know everyone, like, if I say to someone, like, oh, I'm honestly not amazing at makeup, everyone's like, oh, come on. That's, like, your thing. And I'm like, oh, I'm just putting a little bit on a, uh, I'm using it as blush. The same shade. Yeah, people are like, don't say that. You're, like, good at makeup. And I was like, yeah, watch me try and put on eyeshadow. And then you'll see. Yeah, it's it's never cute. Um, so I have to do kind of, you know, soft shades like this. Um, when I try and do anything dramatic, it looks like us. The amount of times I've done like, if I get asked to do a brand deal when they want like makeup and I'm, it's like eyeshadow related, the amount of times I get rejected because they're like, they're just like, this isn't good. Oh my like, why did you send us this? And I'm like, I can't do eyeshadow. Okay, I'm taking a white eyeshadow here. Just going up here. Not too harsh. I'm not trying to drag queen it up, just like enough to make everything pop. And I'm putting it here to. put it in here as well okay so now we're going to go on to the eyeliner now i'm not going to do anything fancy do i ever do anything fancy no okay so take you in just a little bit closer not too close mind my videos are always so uncomfortably close actually so we're going to do quite a thick line here and a classic winged eyeliner that's what we're going to do I'm using the NARS eyeliner, and this is Liquid Eyeliner Explicit Black. It's got an interesting shape applicator. You can go like that, make it thin, go like that, make it thick. So we're going thick. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, I'm shaking so much. So for the wink, that may actually look at my own photos for reference here. I did the, my makeup like this not long ago and it looks quite nice, so I'm just try to copy that. That'll do for now, I think. The lashes I'm going to use are some very vague, generic eyelashes from Amazon. They look like this. I'll leave them um, in the bio below. If I forget, just comment and say, babe, you forgot, um, because I forget everything in my life always. Uh, so what I'm going to do, pair of these, and I'm gonna cut li three little notches off the front of the band. Does that make any sense? So we're actually gonna put these on my eyes first. I usually do mascara first, but I've actually found that this works easier. As in like, it looks better. Sorry. I'm gonna take this headband off because I don't know why, sometimes headbands just hurt my head. I don't understand why, but they do. Taking my old and trusty Lud Light by Lime Crime and Airy. I actually don't even know if they sell this anymore. Uh, just taking a little bit of my finger and putting it right here. 
Yeah, no corner eyeliner. What the hell is this? What is this? Oh no. When anything gets under the eye like this, it's a massive freaking problem. Okay, so try and avoid whatever that is. Um, yeah, just put a little bit here. Yeah, no corner liner for me, controversially. I'm gonna take this Ofra, very old as well, Ofra Highlighter and Pillow Talk. It's a little bit pinky, but it's just like your average, of, yeah, nothing special about it really. Put a little bit on my nose, a little bit here. A little bit here. I know highlighter's out, apparently. <laughs> apparently, who knows? So I'm just doing this very lightly. And then I'm going to stick these lashes on. So we're going right to the, the proper, where, how you're meant to put on false lashes, essentially. Yeah, it's given, it looks a bit questionable, but I'm gonna uh, go back in with the island and try and fix it. I'm gonna go in with my ooh, Gucci Beauty Lipstick and Tasty Hazel and my little flat brush. Honestly, would not be surprised if this is the culprit of what gave me dermatitis because this has been in my life for so long. It's lasted longer than like most of my friends. Funny story as well, I got in Fly and Tiger. Gonna do quite a lot of overlining. Not too, well, not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put on some YSL mascara and Lash Clash one. I'm just gonna lightly put this because I don't think these lashes are put on amazingly, so we're not gonna go crazy with the mascara in case they fly off. And we're not gonna put any on the lower lash today. I uh, say that as I got a tiny little dot right here. Love, love, love that. I don't actually know how you say this. N A N A M I Nami maybe. This. It's like a. Um, the No Rules Cream. So I use this as blush a lot, a lot, but uh, I'm just gonna put it right here for today. And then I'm gonna clean up this eyeliner a little bit cause this is looking a bit questionable. I'm doing that thing where you keep making your eyeliner thicker and thicker and thicker, so I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, yeah, let me go into the other room to show you the finished result with slightly better lighting. So, This is the finished result. It's it's giving quite dollish, but also it's like kind of pin up -y. But it's like a very classic makeup look, you could say. It's not like I'm not I'm not doing anything crazy. Like it, it's good for for instance passport makeup. But yeah. Um I hope you liked it. Sorry I haven't posted in a long time. I just thought I'd do this video to kind of get me back into the swing of things like not trying to be too ambitious with what I'm like posting so that's why I did this kind of makeup but yeah um hope you liked it hope you're all doing well and yeah um yeah I don't want a close-up today I don't think so yeah I'll see you later I uh, hope you liked it and yeah bye goodbye